Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics for this uh, March 20th, 2015, and uh, it's uh, the day after uh, Refresh Pittsburgh we're going to get into today. Of course, please go check out everything at Sorgatron.com for this show, my, my converted personal blog of sorts. You can find links for uh, YouTube and iTunes subscriptions as well. Also, follow me on Spreaker. Just look up uh, my name, Michael Sorg, on Spreaker. We've been pointing it there if that's what you follow. Um, so, like I said, last Last night was Refresh Pittsburgh, a great, great meetup that they do every month down there at Left Field Meeting Space. I believe this is mostly in conjunction with the uh, Smith Brothers Agency down there. Um, I know a lot of people involved are, 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 are kind of putting this together. But uh, they had a really fun one. Again, uh, you know, I talked about last month, uh, you know, uh, you know, friend of the show, Josh Sager. They're always a really, really good presentation whenever he's involved. Um, but uh, another friend of the show, Cindy Klosky, was actually involved. She's actually currently with Shift Collaborative here in the Pittsburgh area. And I guess they have a little bit of, I guess they have a little bit of their, their toes dipped in a few other cities as well. Um, but uh, she had a great presentation on why you need to create a manifesto. And uh, this was really intriguing to me. Uh, so basically kind of a mission statement, kind of something that, something that rallied the troops. Um, you know, in, in a lot of the example of she was given at, uh, what they're doing at Shift, it was really kind of a, 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 again, rallying the troops for, you know, that company, for the team. And gets teams as, okay, this is why we do this stuff. You know, and I remember it starting with, you know, things like branding is not evil. Branding is the way that we communicate and branding is in, integrated in all of our lives. Cause of course they're, you're dealing with branding, they're dealing with marketing, they're dealing with social media, you know, so, so, so that, that kind of fits in there and kind of their belief system around that. Um, and it is like a mission statement, but it's like, not like a mission statement. You know, she's trying to get away from, you know, you don't have a mission statement that sounds like everybody else. We're uh, uh, services and something something company that believes in the customers first because you sound like everybody else and that's something that i've been struggling with uh myself with uh sorgatron media is kind of figuring out well, what are we about you know uh, initially my ideas are you know when somebody's like well what's your outlook what are you doing and uh and i'm glad to see that i'm not alone you know uh seeing some of the presentations last night on something like this um but you know for me it's like i just want to make cool stuff <laughs> <laughs> like that's why i'm doing this um but you know cool stuff that i believe in you know and, and of course at a certain point you have to be like well you gotta help market something you gotta make money somewhere along the line right um but i want to make it in a certain way and i want to make it in a way i believe in and not the way that i've been forced to make things in the past um but it really but this was really cool so looking at at, at her presentation like i said she went through the steps of building a van of Festo, um, starting with, and I don't have the notes in front of me. Actually, see, I'm gonna pull them up. Um, you know, including, uh, you know, first you start just kind of spouting stuff off. You know, I, I, you know, she she had this idea of, you know, you have like six minute writing sessions, and you just kind of empty your thoughts out, and that five and a half minute mark is when the good stuff usually comes out. And um, and I, got, I started thinking about it. I told her afterwards, I'm like, I feel like I'm already doing this because this is the show where I, 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 I let, make myself come down here to the studio and 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 get ideas out for 10 minutes. And if it's not something clear, <laughs> like, hey, I went to this thing last night. Let's talk about it. Uh, like with Refresh Pittsburgh. Um, you know, I just go with a bug of a concept and somehow you guys are listening to me, you know, doing some, I did what last week I did states of, uh, the state of piracy, the state of core cutting, the state of podcasting, the state of me playing video games, you know, stuff like that. Uh, really kind of innocuous stuff to begin with that turns into, you know, kind of some good idea making or, or what I think about social media or, or something like that over the past few weeks. And, and I realize this is something that I can take little bits of because these are things that are coming authentically from me that are like I'm, the stuff I I believe it you know um and like you got and you, when you say you stuff you believe in you have to pound your fist on a desk and you know the thing you're not supposed to do on a microphone on the podcast but still it gets the point home uh, <laughs> but uh i need to shock that on this thing um where was i on that one <laughs> But anyways, uh, but no, and then bringing it down, kind of boiling it down, they had this awesome, they showed this awesome, uh, they took the post-it notes with all the ideas. And they took the ideas and they put them in a strip. And I, I started like throwing out some of the ideas and putting these ideas together and organizing them. I used black tape to 
to put them all in a, in a stream. And this is all this kind of like create. And it's just me. So it's just me. My wife might help too, maybe. Um, so maybe I won't get into something quite so integrative because uh, but it'll just be draft and draft and draft and she read out the draft and it was really like for for a kind of marketing company it was really like yeah okay go make stuff and that's what i want to do and you know somewhere down the line i'm going to have like regular employees not these kind of spot things that i have for uh you know video productions where i'm like hey i'll hey i'm gonna you need, need to shoot something here once a month here you know i mean, i can't really retain employees as far as that goes um but i'm definitely inspired to to write something and have something because I, I i definitely i know i need to boil down clarity in what i do i think it's been a long-standing problem with me in, in the work that i do um i am afraid people come along and say he does a lot of stuff you know it's like no i'm doing this stuff so to show you i can do stuff and please hire me you know and i'm afraid that people say oh he's too busy why am i gonna ask him you know um so that's one aspect of that you know but, but i was just saying like this is why we do things maybe at the top of the site you know and, and have that um you know it's to to to, to kind of show uh, they're not getting something um like everybody else speaking of employees um, the other great presenter from the night was uh, Rob. Rob. <laughs> Rob's, Rob from Sparkbox, um, which I, his last name that escapes me. Rob Har, thank you, vice president of Sparkbox in Dayton, Ohio. He drove four hours to do this thing. Uh, so he must really, really dig uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, but Sparkbox, you know, is Sparkbox is one of those. Uh, uh, yeah, he didn't really get too much into what exactly their company did, but I know it does a lot of software development um, and online development and everything like that. But he talked about this apprentice, uh, this apprentice uh, uh, kind of situation that they have going on, where they they'll they'll start them, they basically quasi hire three apprentices every year, starting in January, um, for fifteen bucks an hour, and they're putting them through the paces and and and. You know, he basically was like, okay, I don't know how to replace people with the right skill sets and talked about this gap between what education is leaving off and what these people need. This is something that uh, when I was at PTI, um, I tried to stress myself is like, you will not get a job based on exactly what they teach you here. I did not get a job because I did exactly what our institute taught me there. And it was my friends that were doing these side projects and doing these other things and learning above and beyond what they learned there, uh, you know. And unfortunately, um, the majority, I think, of the students are not going to see that. They're like, well, I go to school and I get a job. You know, that's what I thought. You know, I do this and I get a good grades and I'll get a job. No, it's more than that. And that's the unfortunate part. And there's that giant gap. And this is where they're trying to fill it by putting the paces through six months of kind of and integrating them in the culture just being around um just being around the people working on this stuff um they, they talked about their desk system that was very interesting and very collaborative and very mobile everybody's on a laptop nobody has their own desk nobody's going to be digging in on the spot and putting their little trinkets and stuff up which i thought was very interesting and very clean too um and very mobile and very very hovering you know um very cool co co-working space sort of situation it looked like and uh and i was really really kind of interested in that um but uh but the the ability to be able to build that and 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 you know they're saying you know hey and these are they're they're building these people that um they may not even hire you know, but it's really cool when he said, you know, hey, I might not hire him, but I might place him with one of my clients. And now that person, <laughs> now you've integrated your company culture into your client that will, of course, come back to you because they already dig you because they're your client. And they're like, hey, you need somebody to do this thing. I want to make you better. And now you have that and you have an extra deeper connection with that client through that. That's hey, really interesting. Um that's that's exactly the thing you need to do the give back kind of mentality uh for a company to succeed and not and and, and succeed in a way that makes people feel good for one thing um but uh that that's really cool and it was it was really kind of uplifting and and showed a really interesting out of the side uh way of uh kind of looking at that 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 middle education and they said they're they're taking people that um 
that didn't know much code to begin with, had other situations. There was a, 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 a mom that was looking to kind of reboot her, her, her career and just kind of came from a little bit, you know, not, not into this. But he said they just, as long as there's people that want it. You know, that people that want to say, I want to be in this industry, I want to do code, and I want to do whatever it takes to do that. And that's the drive. That's a big thing. It's not, you know, it's skill, yes, but it's the drive to learn that. And um, I think a lot of people can do that. If, if they're like, you know, you know, me, it's like, I can probably do the code, but it's like, I don't have a drive to do coding and development. So here I am. <laughs> podcasting um so but this is what i have the drive to do and uh but but it's very cool that they they give those opportunities um so check them out um they're uh and they do have some podcasts and such that i wrote down uh sparkbox uh dot com or i'm sorry c sparkbox.com is their uh website and uh they have links to their podcast perhaps where did i see those at they talked about them last night i'll link uh his podcast in the notes for this i, I know i have them notes are just not right in front of me um if you want to kind of get more because it sounds like they're, they're a podcast i'm going to check out because it sounds like he's got some really interesting ideas on there and they even go into on this on their blog about how they uh taught teens and preteens to build a, a website uh with the girl scouts it's really cool Really, really cool. They're using that space to give back in that way as well. Oh, and their um, apprenticeship program is on GitHub. If you don't know what that means, that means it's openly accessible and you can check it out yourself, the entire curriculum. And he actually has the people that come in as the apprenticeship manage the GitHub. Really cool. Really awesome talks last night at Refresh Pittsburgh. Really glad I, I went to that. If you want to check it out, get on their newsletter if you're here in the Pittsburgh area uh, over at uh, refreshpittsburgh.org. Um, and uh, you'll just, if you have the chance, get down there. I've just been really fortunate, fortunate the last couple of months that my schedule's worked out and, and I swing down anytime I get a chance. And of course, please please follow my account at Sorgatron, also at AwesomeCast. And uh, I'm also managing the uh, at uh, PCPGH for PodCamp Pittsburgh. And anytime I see stuff like this come through, I try to spread it as far out as I can. Um, so follow that or, or follow any of those concepts on uh, on, uh, on Facebook as well. Um, Google Plus, I'm trying to keep up with it. Um, but uh, but definitely those two. And uh, there's a lot of events coming up in Pittsburgh. And, and it's really cool to see all this stuff happening. So... So with that, um, oh, let me know what. Oh, geez, question for the day. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? You're gonna write a manifesto? You're gonna write? A, you're gonna look at apprenticeship programs? What do you think of that kind of concept and this kind of middle education kind of idea? Are there other ideas that you are seeing out there that you really dig? And I am so out of time right now. Uh, so uh, we'll see you guys next time. Sorgatron.com and check out all the rest of the shows. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.